forget the rationale that he admitted in a TV interview at the time for why he fired the FBI Director James Comey. Hold that thought, though, for a moment, if you will, because also new this morning, the president broke his social media silence on the matter sur surrounding Stormy Daniels, the adult film actress who claims that she had a relationship with the president and she was threatened to keep quiet. The president this morning calls that a total con job. Again, the important thing here, this is the first time he's chosen to weigh in on this on social media. Our Caitlin Collins in Florida with the president near Mar-a-Lago. Caitlin, what are you seeing? Yeah, John, this is the first time we're hearing from President Trump on Twitter about Stormy Daniels. Of course, he made some remarks on Air Force One denying that he knew about that payment that Michael Cohen made to her. But now he's weighing in, and this comes to kind of set this up for the viewers after Stormy Daniels was on The View yesterday and they released this sketch of a man, a man that she says threatened her when she was with her daughter, telling her to leave President Trump alone before uh, he was president, of course. And they released this sketch and now the president himself is weighing in on it on Twitter, saying a sketch years later about a non-existent man, a total con job playing the fake news media for fools, but they know it. Uh, a stunning statement there, John, from the president weighing in on this. Certainly something that we've reported his advisors and his lawyers have told him not to weigh in on that publicly, not to bring it up again. But, of course, he's doing it there, saying that this person who threatened Stormy Daniels, who she says threatened her, simply just doesn't exist, John. Yeah, and it, it is interesting. And the president also, Caitlin, is talking about the FBI director, James Comey, and at war with his own words. Exactly. The President Trump is con contradicting himself, something we often see him do with his spokespeople, not often with himself. Of course, now this morning he's tweeting about the reason that James Comey was fired. And to take you back a year ago, after James Comey was first fired by the president, the White House maintained for 48 hours that it was because of a memo written by the Deputy Attorney General and the Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein and Jeff Sessions, respectively. Of course, the president upended that messaging when a few days later he told Lester Holt of NBC News that he was thinking of the Russia investigation when he fired the FBI director. Now, pair that with the president's tweet this morning where he said, quote, slippery James Comey, the worst FBI director in history, was not fired because of the phony Russia investigation where, by the way, there was no collusion except by the Democrats. Of course, you see that tweet there and listen to the president here speaking to Lester Holt. But regardless of recommendation, I was going to fire Comey, knowing there was no good time to do it. And in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made up story. It's an excuse by the Democrats for having lost an election that they should have won. So, John, there are often questions raised about the White House's credibility when they say one thing and the president says another, but they are from right where you can see what the president told Lester Holt and what he tweeted this morning. Sometimes it comes from the top. Yeah, the, the problem for President Trump here is President Trump. Caitlin Collins in Florida, thank you very much. Let's discuss this. We're joined by CNN Chief Legal Analyst Jeffrey Tubin and CNN Chief Political Correspondent Dana Bash. Dana, up is down, black is white, night is day uh, <laughs> here a, a, as we deal with this statement uh, from the president. I mean, it, it, it is odd. It, it is odd that he, does he think we're going to not remember? Is he trying to blur the lines here? Any sense? Uh, all the above. I, I just think if you kind of look at this with the big picture lens, uh, you wonder why his attorneys don't want him to talk to Robert Mueller. I mean, exhibit A right here on a silver platter, Mr. President. You know, if you're tweeting out something that directly contradicts a statement that you made on camera to a, a network television anchor, you're going to be in trouble. So, uh, you know, this is classic Donald Trump uh, in that he really doesn't have regard for things that he said mm -hmm. before, uh, because in his world, it doesn't matter. And the, 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 the truth is, in the world that he is trying to reach uh, on Twitter, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter for many of those people, mm -hmm. for many people in his base. It doesn't matter. It is only up to us mm -hmm. and those who are outside that world uh, to remind everybody mm -hmm. that what he said is not what he said after he fired James Comey, which yeah. is it was about Russia. And Jeffrey, it's not, it's not like this is a small matter for the Mueller investigation, right? The reasons behind firing James Comey could get to the heart of the obstruction issue. No question. I mean, you know, the, the whole Stormy Daniels saga 
is, I think, fundamentally a sideshow here, and you know, it's amusing, and the sketch, who knows? I mean, the sketch, to me, looks more like Tom Brady or John Bon Jovi than anyone else, don't you think? You can't have both, Jeffrey. You have but to no, pick I mean, one, they, but leave that aside for a moment. Let, 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 let. I just would like our viewers to consider whether that looks like John Bon Jovi or Tom Brady, neither of whom are suspects, John, I, I go, hate. I go for John Bon Jovi. Okay, okay, Dana's a smart woman, she's right, I mean, you know. But, but um, as for uh, the, the uh, obstruction part of the case, I mean, the reasons for firing James Comey are critical. Right. Because if he's fired because of that memo that Rod Rosenstein wrote that it was all about the Hillary Clinton investigation and his mishandling of it, that is not an obstruction of justice. You can argue whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. But if he fired James Comey, to stop or interfere with the Russia investigation, as Trump himself suggested in, the, in that interview with Lester Holt, that's a very different story and potentially highly incriminating. Yeah, the tweet's not going to make it not so. You know, the evidence will be right. the evidence in the president's statement in the past will be right, the evidence. Right, but Dan is right. I mean, you know, much as most Americans should be watching this television program, more of them are just reading Donald Trump's tweets, especially mm -hmm. his supporters, and they don't hear the other side. You, you know, well, Dana, to the, to the Stormy Daniels matter, yeah. though, we also know that his advisors, his lawyers, his, everyone who knows the president has been telling him, stay away from exactly. Stormy Daniels. He couldn't stay away this he morning. Couldn't. I, I was just communicating with uh, with somebody who uh, is close to him and is uh, and, and works for him, and, and the response on the Stormy Daniels tweet was just one almost word, ugh. Uh, I mean, and that kind of sums it up. And, and I think Jeffrey, you know, may be right when it comes to uh, the legal implications f uh, of Stormy Daniels. We'll see. But in terms of the politics of Stormy Daniels, uh, this is something that mm -hmm. the president's team is worried about. Very much so, uh, because despite the fact that the president won the election post Access Hollywood, here we are, you know, more than a year, a, you know, a year and a half later, and the, the combination mm -hmm. uh, of all of these allegations, it, it's really weighing him down, and more importantly, weighing down Republicans mm -hmm. who were on the ballot in November. You know who was rejoicing? At the president's tweet this morning it was Michael Avenatti, the lawyer no kidding. for Stormy Daniels. Let me Boy, read did he you take one of the, the things bait. he wrote. He, he says, he says, FBI search warrant is uncovering existing documents and recordings showing con job after con job pulled on real people and very real American citizens who don't know it. Welcome to the playing field. Hashtag where <laughs> you been. I mean, Avenatti <laughs> basically saying thank you, Mr. President, for tweeting this. Well, morning. and also, you know, it's worth remembering that the whole Stormy Daniels saga is in the courts because Trump's lawyers initiated an arbitration proceeding against him. They started this fight. Michael Avenatti is the ha happiest person in America and on television more than basically anyone in, in, who actually works in television <laughs> at the moment. But, but he's <laughs> only on television because the Trump people started this fight. If they had simply ignored her, if they had simply ignored uh, her interview with Anderson Cooper, and just gone on with the business of being president of the United States, 